Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater Revival. So we're going to take a look at all the chords and uh, the guitar solo and everything. So just get your guitar in standard tuning here. We're going to start here with the intro. Now this is the only way he, pl all the time he plays it like this is in the intro. He uses the different chord voicings of the same chords he's playing later. So it's just a bar chord up here. The 10th fret D major bar chord. Now you just, if you don't know what that is, it's just a full bar at the 10th fret, and then 12 on the A and the D, and the 11 on the G. Now for the most part, you don't pick the top two strings. So just kind of hang out on the bottom four. Down, down, up, down. Then um, same chord at the 5th fret twice, then, and then the 3rd fret twice. All right, then we get to the open chords, which he uses for the rest of the song, which is just this D major chord. Now he keeps rotating and doing a little melodic thing in there. So that's just, whenever you hear that, he's just adding the, the little fingers playing the fourth fret on the G, and then letting it go back to the regular D. All right, so the actual verse sounds like this. So that's done, that was twice through, but it's done four times for the verse. So it's a D major to an A7 chord. It's important because uh, a lot of people miss that. that. That is a seven chord, you can hear that G string in there. So that chord is just an open A, second fret on the D, then an open G string, and the second fret on the B string. To a G chord. Now this is the G chord voicing that's got the open B string in it too. So that's third fret on low E, second fret on the A, third fret on the high E. Everything else is open, so we have this. So you're gonna end it with that D as well. So it starts as four chord progression, starts with a D and ends with a D. And just do that little drop the picky down there, some of that staying in rhythm. So we have So just play through that four times, and then we get to the chorus, which sounds like this. All right, so that starts with that G. To the D. To that A7. To the G again. To the D. All right, so then we get to the second verse, which is slightly different. There's a little bit different ending there. It sounds like this. All right, so he's gonna do that the rest of the time in the song, whenever you, after you play that D. So if you get the same chorus. And so, so instead of going, he's gonna go, play the chord. Then the fourth fret on the G string, and then hammer 12, two to four on the uh, D string to the second fret on the um, G string. Then pick four on the, the uh, G string, and then do a quick hammer on from two to four on the D. I'm sorry, you gotta go, I missed a, a note in there. After you go, the hammer two to four, then two, four, two on the G, and then you do that hammer. So we have this. Now that's just an overdub. You don't have to play that part. You can just go straight. But if you have an extra guitarist, that's what that part is right there. Then back to the same chords in the chorus. All right, 
Now we have pretty much the only thing left to look at is the guitar solo. I'll play through that real quick and uh, we'll take a look at it. Here we go. All right, so it's kind of simple, but uh, fits the song perfectly. We're gonna start with these uh, the seventh fret on the G and the B string together. Then the fifth fret on the B, sixth fret on the G, and then down two frets. Now to that same D chord. That same lick, but it's kind of hard to get that last hammer on, because you gotta come back and start over with those two sevens. So all together so far. So you go back to those sevens and then those five and six again. Down to this third fret again, but this time do a bar across the first and second string. So you, you strum both of those threes. So it's three strings there. Then back to these two sevens. Now put your first finger at the fifth fret on the high E string and you're gonna pick across. You're just, just picking the B, then the G, and then high E, B, G. So all together. All right, now this next phrase is. All right, so this is built around, this first half is built around a G major chord, so just kind of hold this bar at the third fret again, and then fourth fret on the G string, fifth fret on the D. So you're really gonna be playing the top three strings though. You're gonna play those, really the second and third string there, and then put your fifth fret here down on the B string, which is done with your little finger. And then the <coughs> two threes on the high E and the B string together. And then you put the fifth fret, now you're just taking the two, the second and third string again, the fifth fret on the B, then lift it to the third fret, and then back to the fifth fret on the B. So we have this. Got to hear that melody in there, and then we're going to do the same kind of melody around the D chord. That's just basically, I'm holding the D, but I'm just playing the D string. G string and the B string. Then playing 4 2 on the G. And then the third fret, I'm going to pick on that B string. Then 4 2 4 on the G. All right, now to the. So that's just an A major chord. So it's the same G that we played here, but up two frets. Play the pretty much just the top three strings, and then put that little finger there at the seventh fret on the B. Play that, and then back to the previous chord, and then the same thing, but just two frets lower. And then you're gonna end it with just that D. All right, so that's pretty much all the the parts of the song, the the chord, the verse, and the chorus just stay the same. It just ends on a D. So I'm just go through this. Uh, solo for you really slow see if you can just follow along and we'll be done here we go Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again with another song for guitar lessons365.com. Bye bye.